Hey guys in this video I will show you how to dual boot Windows 10 and Ubuntu. Let's go. Before starting I remind you that dual booting is complex process and if it harm your computer then I am not responsible. The basic requirement for dual booting are the PC or laptop with Windows 10 or Windows 8. Second thing is USB or DVD. Third thing is Ubuntu ISO file. And if using USB then universal USB installer and if DVD then power ISO or Nero. Download link of all software are in description. Now let's start the first process which is creating a partition for Ubuntu. For creating a partition open run and type disk mgmt.msc which will transfer us to disk management. When you are in disk management window then right click on the volume in which you have at least 20 GB space and then click on shink volume. In this window type the memory space that you want to give to your Ubuntu. And make sure it should be in MB not GB. As I am entering 20,480 MB for 20 GB. And when you are done with this then click on shink. This step can take a longer time so be patient. When it is done then you can see 20 GB as unallocated space. And we need to left it as unallocated only. Let's move to next step in which we will create a bootable USB for installing Ubuntu but you can also use DVD for the same task and if you are watching this then you must know how to make a DVD bootable but if you don't know then comment and I will tell you. And without wasting time let's make a USB bootable. Open Universal USB Installer. And in this first drop down menu select Ubuntu and in second menu select Ubuntu.iso file and in the third option select the USB drive and leave all options as it is and click on create. Click on yes. This will take at least 15 to 20 minutes so I'm speeding up the video. It's completed now and we have successfully created a bootable drive for installing Ubuntu. Now we have created a separate partition and bootable USB so let's install Ubuntu and make it dual boot. Now hold your shift key and restart your computer. Now afterward you will redirect it to this windows in which you can see there is a tab use a device and if it's not available in your PC then go to your BIOS and disable secure boot. For installing Ubuntu click on that and then your will CEFI USB device click on that if you are using USB or if using DVD then click on EFI CD-ROM. After click on EFI USB device we are redirected in this and here we can see many options so if you want to try Ubuntu before installing then select first option and if you want to install it then select second option. I selected second because I want to dual boot Ubuntu. Now we are in installation windows on Ubuntu so follow me if you want to install Ubuntu successfully.
Make sure you click on the first option to dual boot it with Windows 10. Select your country as I'm selecting India because I live in India. Fill all the details. Now it's installing Ubuntu on your computer so wait it will take 30 to 40 minutes so wait and I am speeding the video. Installation is successfully completed now and we need to restart our computer. Here you can see it's asking whether we want to boot into Ubuntu or Windows and it means that we have successfully dual booted Windows 10 and Ubuntu. Let's start Ubuntu and set up it for first boot. Enter the password that you have given earlier and hit enter. Now all the process are successfully completed and if you want to boot into Windows then restart and select Windows to boot. Thanks for watching my video. I hope it will help. Subscribe for more tips and tricks.